Hey everybody, BK here, and welcome to the first, well actually no, this isn't the first video. Well actually, you know what, it's welcome to a brand new tuning video of this Buick Regal. Now then, why am I using this car? Well, I'll tell you why. Or why, why did I pick this car? I picked this car because I was doing some circuit racing, and I came across a guy who, you know, smashed my time with this car. And I remember using it on Forza 4, not for drifting, but for circuit racing. I didn't like it for drifting that much for some reason. So... I thought I'd give it a try. I've gotten some positive feedback about this car inside lobbies. I said it was a great drift car. And now I actually have to ask people about cars and whatnot before I end up buying it because certain cars just don't mix well with me. Like, there's, you know, there's a lot of cars out there that I could have drifted on Forza 4 if, uh, if I'd use it on Forza 4, of course. But whenever it's in this game, I just can't do it no more. It just doesn't feel right. And I guess, that, I guess, that's, I guess that's because they actually made it where, um, you know, race cars are meant to be raced, and certain cars are meant to be drifted, and it's just, this is all bad. But anyway, so this is going to be part two, or like another remake of this, because originally I did record this, and um, apparently my uh, capture card didn't record my voice for the past 30 minutes, so I was going to cut it down to 15 minutes, you know, to split it, to make it easier for you guys to watch. So I wasted 30 minutes of my time for nothing, which sucked. So I'm going to buy a new car and redo it, which I've just done. So, um, once I start upgrading, uh, I'm just going to tell you guys the, the couple main things that I look for, because this will be fast-forwarded. Um, what you want to get is drag tires, uh, weight reduction all the way, and, uh, wow, actually, you know what? That's it, besides an NASCAR engine and max horsepower. That's all you want. And... It will be fast forward, so enjoy this gangster music, which will fit perfectly with this gangster leaning car. D -D -D -J, slow and <laughs> I'm about to turn y'all on to something, man. I was there, huh? When you see something looking stupid, nigga, huh? that shit's dumb. Okay? Okay? I'm talking about anytime you see some stupid, nigga, it's dumb. You know, like a nigga with a motherfucking shit worth a hundred, nigga. Squatting on 26, nigga. It's dumb. Especially guys dumping that can of paint on that motherfucking nigga. Okay, we're finally finished. Now, since I've already made this card, um, I'm just going to add this tuning setup that I originally had on the other car, and I'll just drift it inside a lobby to make it a little easier and quicker for you guys. So, we're going to start with the basic of the base tune, but I can't actually know why I can't do the base tuning because I've already done it. So, this is all I did for the PSI. Now, oh, the final gearing. Hmm. I may have to go back and actually adjust that myself. I think I had it at 3.25, I do believe that's where the hotspot was. And my front camber, since this car will be will be leaning a lot throughout a lot of corners, I thought I would just add it at, uh, add it at um, uh, uh, negative 1, just so that I can get that nice turn-in response that I wouldn't get if it was stock because usually I tune my points cars to stock and I leave all the stuff stock except for my toe and then our front toe will always be max so that we don't oversteer a lot and our rear toe will be at 1.0 
this at 7.0 for no reason because I have no idea what it does. So I just know that if I have a lower, it just makes it extremely sharp. Um, give me a second. Now that our all my anyway, all our springs will be reduced to the softest point that we can possibly get it. Except our ride height, our ride height is going to be at our highest point. And then we're going to soften everything else. Just make sure we get some scraping. Our brakes will always be at the front. You know why. If you don't like it, then don't do it. And our differential would be 100% and 15%. And there you go. Now then, I can't really explain why I did this because... Um, the video footage I did have, it was lost, and it was lost because I closed it out whenever I opened up Sony Vegas, so that I can have more CPU available for my rendering and whatnot, but, uh, I probably could have went back and got the flashback, and that would have been fine, but I closed it out, so it kind of ruined it, and I think that, I don't really think there's a history of flashbacks, so I can't really go back to it, but, this is what I had on my other... Buick Regal looks to have 20 inch rims on it and it looks amazing. I, I, I like it in this game. I think it's kind of funny because it's just nice to drift a car that nobody should take seriously. See, here goes my circuit racing one that I failed at making because I have too much power and it just completely outweighed the handling so it just doesn't want to turn once it goes straight. So we'll use this original one with our massive 20 inch rims. And I guess I'll just talk about it over this replay I saved from the past game. You guys can just check that out because I found that video to be more interesting than any other video or uh, game I was in. So, I'm going to go to the replay and I'll catch you guys later. Alrighty, YouTubers. Here goes the little replay. I did. Oh, my bad. The replay I, I took of uh, Prague. Now, originally I was speaking about doing a test, a uh, testing video on Prague about this, because the last section just it's just perfect for this car. Now I, I'm gonna explain why in a minute. Whenever I actually get to that part, man, this actually has some pretty good, uh, some pretty good clips or some camera options, which I would have had the original pan and crop movements that we had in Forza 4, but this will do. But anyway, th this car this car is great, and now that I said that, I forgot that whenever I was doing this corner, I went a little too fast, and having your springs extremely soft allows you to slide out a little more than what you're used to, and clip, <laughs> clip the wall, and lost my points, and I was super sad face. But either way, it's, it's a fun car to drift, I'm not going to lie. Now this uh, guy behind me, I didn't, I didn't want to bug him. I didn't know he was this close behind me because for some reason, all my sounds on my headset are just backwards, so I can't really hear any other car behind me. So that's probably just a setting in the game that I'll have to fix because I'm using the uh, audio jack on my TV. And so I try to pull off to the side of the road to let this guy pass, but he just wanted to stick on me. <laughs> uh, I just couldn't go anywhere. I went there, he went here, and then he he kept trying to follow me. I don't, I just don't know why, but. Eventually, he, you know, thought, okay, I'm just going to go, and that's when he went. But I really like this car. I didn't think that I could, oh, that's probably going to be a good screenshot right there. I got all the weight dropped to the uh, upper right-hand corner of the car. I think that will be a good thumbnail. But anyway, um, I, didn't, I didn't think this car would handle the way it does, even with having soft springs and it raise up all the way. It, it drives like, it, it drives like a normal car, and surprisingly, this car, if if I take it very, very seriously, I can possibly bust out a high 92 or a mid 92 on this track if I get everything right. Because the last corner I've done, I pulled an extra 1,000 points. But I screwed it up because I, uh, I had to do a fast weight transfer so I, can keep my, so I can keep my speed up. And with me doing that, I lost... I lost about 500 points, and yes, I am complaining over 500 points because once you're a points junkie, every single point matters. Um, hold on. Uh, ugh, sorry, I really hate to do messages while I'm on Skype. I mean, uh, on uh, the commentary thing. But anyway, 
The car is absolutely marvelous. And despite the fact that I messed up on a couple of corners, if I were to get these corners down, we're talking about an extra 4K I would have gained on my second lap, which was my best lap, I do believe. Now then, I'm not going to be taking this car seriously, so if you if you were to give me a little tap inside a lobby, I'm not going to flip out and get upset or anything, because it's just... It's just a fun car. It's a car that's not supposed to be taken seriously. You're just supposed to enjoy with your friends, you know. Just show off that, hey, man, I'm driving a car with 20-inch rim that leans, and it's just amazing. I mean, who, who wouldn't want to do that? I mean, it's, it's nice to have every now and then, just to have a car that leans around every single corner, and it's actually controllable. I can't believe it. Now, I'm pretty sure I can pick out a muscle car and get it to actually three-wheel. Ooh, we got a nice little jump drift right there. I really want to go back and see that. Let's go watch that again real quick. Yes, let me see here. Oh wait, I forgot there's no free cam. Dang it. We got all the wheels off the ground. Let me see what it looks like in the in the camera option. I have to check this out. Huh. Oh, without having all that blurry stuff, it's uh looks kinda lame, to tell you the truth. That, that's pretty sweet. We got it all off the ground, we got midair, no four wheels. I mean there's no wheels touching the tarmac right now. But anyway, let's go. Oh, did I just cancel off the, uh, the replay? Okay, good. I did. I was about to try. Team along with this. But the car, in my opinion, if I, if I were to rate this car, I would definitely get it, give it a five-star rating. I mean, this car is probably better than the Range Rover because it handles so great. It, it may be better than the uh, Camaro I just made, and I may continue to use this car if it proceeds to act to, uh, to act in such ways. I mean, this tune was made to be a joke. I didn't think it would actually turn out and actually handle quite well. And you guys should have seen the video I had earlier because I was quite surprised. But um, a lot of people usually I know this is a little a little game changer, but a lot of people usually um you know ask me if I'm using positive camera because this is the way my tires look but really I'm not I, I'm not at all unless you know there's something glitched with the game and apparently it's backwards but as you've seen in the video I used you know uh, negative one and that's kind of my stockish base tune setup but really I just don't use any front camera at all so therefore it looks like whenever I start turning I have positive camera on it, which I don't mind. I mean, people can use whatever they want. I don't mind it. It's just that when people start saying that I, I, I use a certain setup, you know, to cheat, quote, as they would say, it, it starts to get a little bit annoying. But that doesn't really bother me whenever I'm using a couple of cars because there is one car that needed it. There is one car, and I just stopped using it because I don't like it no more. But one car, oh, wait, you know what? forget that here goes the part I was talking about this section right here I've oh wait a minute oh no it wasn't this one at all when was it when was the section what was, was it the last lap or did I already miss it you know what man this is this is why I really hate to commentate over over my my replays it just doesn't seem legit as it was when it was online I wish I could just go back online and do this I know I can but the odds of me getting this track again is just not going to happen, and I would really love to get it back on this track because this track is one of is this track is by far one of my favorites, and it's nice it's nice not to not not to constantly play on Bernie's Alps that's overused, and I just can't stand it. It's just so boring. I don't like Bernie's Alps. I despise it. It's just played every single time. I mean, there's like how many versions of Bernie's Alps are there? Is there like six, seven? I can't remember. I, I think there is six of them. And that's just too much. And the same with Top Gear, you know. I used to like Top Gear on Forza 4. But now that I've gotten, you know, used to it, it's it's, it's not special no more. And while well, that little gauge right there was glitching out pretty hard, you guys seen that. But Top Gear, just, it's just not as special as it was on Forza 4, you know. I remember used to just drifting that super long straightaway and nobody can do it. Or not many people could do it. And it, it was just... An amazing thing to have, but now that turn ten added a little uh, break section, like like a weight transfer section, it's just I just lost my spunk on it. You know, I just don't appreciate it as much as I did on Forza Four. But I'm a weird type of guy. I'm I'm the type of guy that will like 
the track that is most likely hated by you know the Forza community. I don't know why I'm like that, but I just have this weird, this weird thing where I would have to do my best and just make sure that I practice on that track enough where I can just be solid with it. I can pull the same scores online as I were to pull um, in practice sessions, and it pays off. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but it really does pay off. I've pulled a couple of scores on a certain track that I've never thought I would uh, I would actually pull until I actually try and I'm talking about Bathurst. Uh, that's how you pronounce it. Now, a lot of people don't like that track. I mean, they, they give me a couple of good reasons why not to like it, but they, they don't give me any reasons why not to actually try on it. And same with Top Gear. Like, everybody will skip Bathurst, but, you know, I actually like it, <laughs> and that sucks because it's now it's really now it's one of my favorite tracks, and I can't play it because everybody skips it. Now I do believe this is it. So let me get out of this camera view real quick. Is this the one? Is this the one? Yes, it is. It is the one. Now this is my first time I actually took this whole entire section back there without an issue. And as you can see, I took it all on one. And now then somebody, somebody else uh, who does rivals can probably look at that and say, "Oh, I've done that many times before." Well, actually, I haven't even attempted to do that. Because I didn't think it was, you know, I didn't think it was possible until today. I was like, dude, I wonder if I can keep my speed up and just go for it. That's exactly what I did. And this this card, if you guys have, if you guys haven't noticed, those drains right there is what kills your angle, man. Like you'll oversteer, you'll lose it, you'll get mad, you'll cause a wreck, and it's just all bad. But when it comes to having soft suspension, you can glide right over it. It doesn't catch it. Your car's fine, and it's just amazing I, I can't describe how amazing it feels just to be able to take that corner and like it's not even there like you don't have to worry about the oversteering or your front tires catching the drain and causing an oversteer you don't have to worry about any of that with this car and that's why I like it that's the one one of the reasons why I'm giving it the rating I'm giving it now which will be the five star rating now I'm hopefully uh, I'm hoping I made this video somewhat amusing to others because like I said I really hate going back over my replays just to talk over them because then I just lose all my hypeness and it's just it, it, it just all goes away and I, I know what you're thinking why not just go back and, uh, and make another clip well I mean I would but it just doesn't feel the same because it's not my first time actually driving this car this is my second time and now I'm getting used well not my second time it's my second time talking over it so all my excitement kinda just goes away but anyway there goes the car I love this car Everybody should give it a try. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, tell me what you think. And uh, suggest a new car for me to try to build. And if it's a tricky car to build, it will be quoted as attempt to build a certain car. So just keep that in mind. If you ever come across one of those videos, that means the car is going to be probably bad in my opinion. And I probably couldn't handle it. So on that note, I will catch you guys later. And uh, yeah, I don't know after that.